Welcome to the National Card Show Recap. What is going on everybody? It is Jay here, AKA Mojo Sports, coming at you guys with the National Recap. Hope everyone's doing well. It feels so good to be home. I actually got home from the National a week and a half, two weeks ago, and I just came back from Los Angeles. I took some time to wind down and relax. The road to the National was a lot. The actual national was a lot. I was tired. I was tired by the end of the national. The last day of the national, I had not slept. We gave the best experience and you guys supported us. I got to buy some amazing cards and meet some amazing collectors from all around the world. And uh, I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I owe you guys some giveaway prizes and I haven't forgotten about you guys. I'm gonna make a community post similar to the DeMarcus Cousins gold post and I'm gonna pick all our winners for the giveaways we haven't picked yet. So just keep a lookout for that. And then this, I owe you guys. I did not buy you guys a card from the National. I know, I just, it was just a lot going on at the National and it was really hard for me to, to pick out something and go back to the comments and we lost track of time. I'm gonna make it up to you guys. I pick these up. I'm gonna give away these two Chronicles packs. All you have to do, it's, it's really easy. Comment what your favorite part of, of the National Vlogs was that we posted. It could have been the 86 Jordan shoes, it could have been a booth we saw, it could have been an auction or a special card or something we did with one of the kids or a Panini panel. Comment what your favorite part of the National was. Now let's get straight into it, the National. So I had an amazing time. The, the obvious thing here is the National sh in Atlantic City was not the best city. It's just not my cup of tea and I think for majority of the people there, it wasn't our thing. The National, the truth is, is once we all got into the National, the venue, you didn't even know we were in Atlantic City. You couldn't have told me you were in, we were in Atlantic City. We were in a well air conditioned place. There was plenty of snacks. There was a lot of awesome cards, amazing collectors. People just doing the thing that they love all together. I think that's the best part. We're all in the same boat. And you know, that's that's a cool feeling. So I had a great time at the National. I, I always believe in this and I've said this from day one with my life experience and anything I do is, the experience is what you make it. You know, if you have a good attitude, if you have good perception on life and things, things will go well. There's times in my life when I didn't have the best attitude and I didn't have the best perception and things just weren't going as planned. I have to say for the National, it, w it was good. I was a little overwhelmed at times. I had a lot of anxiety on, on certain things. We were more scheduled out than, than we ever have been. And, and that was tough for me as I reflect back. I've, I've been in SAC for two days here. I spent a week in LA and, and today I really, yesterday and today I've spent a lot of time on what worked, what didn't work and where I'm at just emotionally and mentally right now. You know, I just, for me, the road to the national took a lot out of me. It was great though. I got to show you guys everything. My, working with my dad, a relationship with my dad, the house, how things operate here, how we're trying to do, how my family works, cards, beyond cards, sobriety. And that was cool. It took a lot out of me though, cause it was really new, but I don't regret it. The national as a whole had a great experience. One thing I wish I could have done, I wish I could have bought more cards. There was times when I wanted to buy stuff and it was just, we had, we had a lot going on. And also like price points. To be honest, there was cards I was very interested in and I wasn't able to get the best prices. I actually had a better experience standing behind as a dealer at the National, which was super amazing. Shout out to Ultimate Pastime for giving us that opportunity. Mark, he's, he's the GOAT, he's an amazing guy. He let me set up my first National, that was cool. Um, I think it was like this big Saturday. So that was awesome and we had a really good experience with that. So overall, I am just saying this. I think the national in Chicago will be amazing. I think the na and I, I'm gonna say this for years to come. My first national in Chicago was the best experience of my entire life in terms of cards. And it could have been a lot of factors. We went to the Cubs game, we went to the White Sox game, we were going to the Lowe's every night. Like this is what I didn't like about Atlantic City. You didn't know where trade night was until two or three nights in. It was at the Bally's, it was at Borgata. I mean, and then you had to take Ubers and there was just a lot of miscommunication. At least in, in uh, Chicago, there was good food and there was the lows. You everyone was just going to the lows after the trade after the show, and you'd be there till 4 a.m. Atlantic City just didn't have that element. You know how we are as card collectors, we make it work, and, and definitely I think by the fourth or fifth night everybody kind of figured it out. If you gave me ten thousand dollars to go to Atlantic City and you would pay for my flight in my hotel, I will not go there. Unless the national's there. But if you gave me for leisure or just to go, I will give someone else the opportunity. Ask anybody what they thought of Atlantic City. It's not a good vibe. Just seeing everything that was going on there was just bizarre to me. Maybe I'm from California and maybe 
I'm used to Vegas. Vegas to me is still pretty like out there, but like man, Atlantic City was just on another on another another level. And if you know Atlantic City, and and I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I just it wasn't my vibe, you know. I, I would rather have it in Anaheim, California, or Los Angeles, California at that point. So with that, the National Commission, if you're watching this, bring the National to California, please. Thank you. All right, we got from 2011 Panini Americana. I picked this up from Rob Camisa, trade night, PSA 6 with a 10 auto. Justin Bieber, look at that. So Bieber right there. The Biebs, out of 299. So I picked that up at the National. Shout out to Rob, we did a deal at trade night for it. <laughs> Pretty cool card right there. My second Bieber auto, I ended up moving the last one, but now we have another one. So good card to bring to Dallas. 2021 clearly Donruss, Trevor Lawrence, green out of 25. T-Law auto right there, PSA, nine. Next up from 2021 Immaculate, I picked both these up. Davis Mills. PSA 9 right there, and then I also picked up a, another Davis Mills. So those were in the deal, combined deal right there. Davis Mills, Ryan Garcia. I actually might grade this, on-card auto, boxer. That was a cool pickup. Israel Adesanya, 2021 Panini Prism Blue, PSA 9. And that is out of 199. Picked up these two Evan Longoria's. I bought these. He is a collector, so I wanted to add these to the collection, the Just Miners. Longo, and then we picked up his Chrome 9.5. Absolutely lost my mind. I pulled the Joe Burrow green one of one Panini Black Box Auto. I was gonna cry. Actually, I wasn't gonna cry. I was screaming. I was losing my mind. Maybe I was gonna cry, but heck of crazy. And all those people around, that was amazing. So Joe Burrow, shout out to Panini for the redemption program. That was so sick, I couldn't believe it. Next up, I bought this one. Case hit, Court Kings, DeMarcus Cousins. So pretty cool right there, I purchased that. Trey Lance. I was talking to somebody that was supporting my page and then I was like, you got anything for sale? And then I bought this off him. So that was cool. Jalen Waddle at a 99, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Jalen Waddle at a 99, auto right there. And then we got a Jalen Hurts, 19 of 25 on card, three color patch auto. Nice looking card right there. Beautiful, we got football season coming up, or starting up. Evan Longoria, rookie. Flashing through, Damian Lord rookie. Pick that up, get that autograph next year maybe. I picked these up in the combined deal with the Wayne Gretzky. You guys saw the deal at a 299 Kirill Kaprizov. So I'm getting into hockey. Anybody that says I'm not buying hockey, here you go. I just bought it. Kaprizov, and this is pretty cool. The SP Authentic Rookies at a 500 Kirill Kaprizov. What a cool name. My personal box I ripped at a 149 Anthony Edwards Red. So I opened a box of Chronicles, and then I think the autographs were like Isaac Okoro or someone else. Gorgeous looking card here. Pretty cool, Wayne Gretzky, New York Rangers. I always pick up, and this is my, I'm not an expert at all, but I'm telling you right now, if I have the good price point to buy Wayne Gretzky or Tiger Woods, I always pull the trigger. I just, I always buy them. I always buy Wayne Gretzky and Tiger Woods. LeBron and Jordan, usually they're a little OP when people come up to me with stuff. It depends what they have. And with LeBron, I like to buy his Cavalier stuff. I don't buy St. Vincent, St. Mary's. I always buy Tiger Woods and freaking Gretzky. Their price points are so, like, they're cheap, they're affordable, so. Next up, I uh, picked up a Kyle Pitts auto. I like this guy a lot. I think it's really sick too. It's on card out of 99. I like Origins. I opened a, I opened 2017 Origins, Patrick Mahomes rookie year, except we weren't looking for Mahomes, you are looking for Trubisky. Crazy to think about me opening that box now. Next, this came from Logan D'Souza. Shout out to Logan. He was able to he give me this pile of Kings stuff. Sabonis' so first Kings card. That's pretty cool. So we got some Kings right there. That's pretty sick. De'Aaron Fox. I'll flip through these because we have a lot of cards to show. I'll show highlights. A lot of optics. So people ask me, what do I do with this stuff? I have a, I have multiple five rows at, at the office and some stuff in my room. But most of the stuff I put at the office now. And I put, I love this, my favorite thing to do, and it, and, it'll, and it never happens on camera, which that probably makes it a reason why it's legit. I love putting my cards away. 
I love it. I love that I can grab each one of these, and this is probably just the collector of me. I love that I can grab these because I've been buying a lot of lots. I bought like a Darren Waller lot because I'm gonna start like PCing him more, and then Christian Pulisic. I've been buying his stuff that you'll see in my mail day, but I love sleeving these and then just putting them away. The Aaron Fox stuff, like it's it's such a nice thing to do at the end of the night to organize your PC. So shout out to my boy here. Look at this Pacer. That's pretty cool. We both signed it. The National. That's freaking sick. I love that kind of stuff. He's a great guy. Called Otherverse. They gave me these primos. So those are pretty cool. They're, I don't know what they are. It's called Otherverse. I met them. Nice, nice guys. Shout out to Game Use Bats as well. He made the connection with me with those guys. Oh, I pulled these. This is what I pulled from the Chronicles box. Heck of sick. I wish I filmed it. At a 99 off camera, it was winding down after the National. Of course, I pulled, I pulled what I pulled. Tyrese Maxey auto, my first auto I pulled to him. And then I pulled a freaking LeBron James at a 149. With that Anthony Edwards red, that was a good box. And the other auto was, I it had to have been someone not that great. Justin Herbert rookie, somebody gave me that. I'll give this away to a kid. Jason Williams, right there, that's sick. Blaze Jordan, shout out to Blaze. Shout out to Celebrity Breaks. Darren Waller, 2021 playoff base autographs. So I'm gonna start collecting Darren Waller. He actually got sober when I got sober, August of 2017, from what I read in the article. I know he's sober. I just celebrated five years sober. Much love to everybody that sent out support. And I actually turned 28 at the end of August. So birthday month doubled up. So Darren Waller, I, I made that decision after looking into it. I, I wanna meet him so bad. I feel like that'd be amazing. So Darren Waller is like, to me, he, like, I know DeMarcus is, is transitioning, but for me to have a guy like a Darren Waller or an Aaron Rodgers to keep watching, I need that. So that's good stuff. Uh, Reese Hoskins, I went to high school with him. So Reese, Mojo Refractor, Bowman Platinum. He's actually, he has his own five row as well. I've been picking up some of his stuff. Reese Hoskins. So Jersey card, Mosaic, and then the Chrome. The re this is the why you have to have a PC. I mean, uh, you tell me. I mean, I'm telling, not telling people how to collect, but I feel like you pick the guys that for me, and and you can tell, you can tell with me. This is my secret about my PCs. I have a connection to all of them. Some somehow, and maybe not Christian Pulisic and Team USA, but I feel like I want to PC him. But Waller with sobriety, Aaron Rodgers, I've gotten to know him. Demarcus, I've gotten to know him. Reese Hoskins, I've known him. And then the Kings, I see them everywhere. Guys that I that I relate to and I've met and I can collect them. I, I think that's important. I'm sure you guys have that with you. If you guys have like a player like that, comment down below. But it's something, it's something to me it's deep and I, and I like that. So that's why it's Rogers and those guys. And then I think I'm adding Pulisic to the list. Potentially, I just, I'm gonna be heavily involved in the World Cup watching it. I wanna go so bad, but it's not happening. Somebody gave me this ticket and I wish they put their username on the back. I don't remember, but I remember the experience. The World Cup final ticket. That was sick. Freaking sick, dude. I sound like a kid, but that was cool. Seriously, anybody that gives me something, man, I just, I gotta say thank you so much. You have no idea what that means to me. Some people bring me like a one Rogers card and, and you have no idea. I put these in my five row box and, and, and it's my PC, so it means a lot. Rogers Donruss, the 2020 Donruss. This was sick, the gold, not out of 10, but still sick. I bought the 20 card lot of Darren Waller of these because I thought it looked cool. Rogers, 2013 tops. This is one of my favorites, uh, 2010 Chrome. This is Tebow's rookie year. <laughs> Tebow, I love Tebow too. 2013 Prism, select, the blue select. I feel like people that watch, this, they're gonna watch this video, everyone just keeps it running because when I, when I watch people's recap videos, I just let that thing run while I'm typing something up. I just, that's what I do. Or anybody I watch on YouTube. I'll, you guys are probably watching this while you're eating with the family or something. I have no idea what you're doing when you're watching this, but it's sick either way. I met so many cool people, man. Ugh, 2011 Chrome was great too. Oh, this is sick, X-Fractor. And then this is cool, Super Bowl Green. I think it's a pop two or three. Aaron Rodgers score. You know, I met so many great people at the National. People that, I touch their lives and they touch mine with, with their experiences. One thing I'm an advocate for is like, you're never alone. 
in what you're going through. I mean, I'm firsthand experience. I got sober when I was 22, you know, and I've opened up a little bit about it, but you never have to be alone. You know, if you think you're the only one that has relationship problems or you think you're the only one that struggles with thinking you're not good enough or, you know, you want to people please and, and try to overcompensate to, to be someone you're not. I'm personally trying to find that within myself. And, and it's, it's, I'm in my fifth year sober, you know, and I'm trying to find, I'm trying to get more comfortable. I'm trying to get comfortable with my own skin still. I'm still trying to get there and I'm admitting it on camera. I'm just not there. I don't know exactly why, but I'm going to, I'm going to dive deep into it and I'm taking the steps by just being aware of it and putting it out there to be honest. And I think that's the key is awareness is the key. You know, if I was just like, Oh yeah, look at me, I'm fine. And you know, then I'm not fine. It's bullshit. So I'm just saying that because if you if you are feeling the way I'm feeling, just understand I'm going through it too. It's the journey, not the destination. Trudge the road to happy destiny, which involves going to be going through being uncomfortable and doing things that are challenging. And I met people that told me things that I couldn't believe, you know, that they had gone through and they watched my videos or they heard what about my sobriety and it just puts me in gratitude. I can help and inspire a lot of people through my platform. And I think that's that's amazing. Not just to share in the love for collecting, but to share in life experience, to connect with others, to to just, just live, live life and embrace that. I got this hockey six piece. This was six San Jose Sharks. That's in the PC. So stuff like this that I don't have a PC pile for. I actually have a row called Oddball, but people gave it to me and it's stuff that I'll keep for the rest of my life. And I want to go through it and see like what I have in there. I'll share it one day. But I, this is this will go. In, it's not oddball because it's weird. It's oddball because it's not it's not my first thing that I collect. But it's a six piece jersey of the San Jose Sharks, and Patrick Marlowe, Jeremy oh Jeremy Roenick's on there actually, Joe Thornton and some other guys. So cool right there. And then let's keep going. Demarcus Cousins. Demarcus Cousins. Shout out to Santiago Sports. One of one. I probably should have shown this first. Look at that one of one auto. I still have something for Tyler. I got to give him DeMarcus Cousins checkerboard. This is sick from Panini Noir, 17 to 25. I don't think I, I ever say it right, but Noir, 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 N O I R. I don't know. I'm tripping. Three color patch auto. Game used. Sick. Game worn materials. The orange DeMarcus out of. 139 the camo prism the blue out of 49 national treasures out of 99 this is the viscount jumbo jersey and that is game worn a lot of game worn from his prior years and then these are just a ton of a ton of these so I'll put these in for the pile up. I'm also gonna be doing some orders with check on my card soon. So definitely wanna pick up some cool stuff on there. Rookie Jersey, limited Jersey auto. This is nine of 10, two color patch, game used. Pretty sick card right there. His first year prism. Hint, hint, I got the gold. On card autograph from Opulence, two of 10, nasty USA card. This is sick. Somebody gave me that at a 99 jersey. This one's sick. I've actually not owned this card until today. 19 of 30, National Treasures Jersey Auto. I want to pick up more of those. I'm looking for them on eBay. There's there's a two of ten, two of two on there, I think. Cousins. Gold standard gold. Got the laser. We're getting there. The purple. The purple match jersey. The blue, then one of my favorite cards that someone brought up to me. This is, I have not seen this card in a minute. At a 149, the monikers, uh, nicknames, Boogie. And they have one for D Rose, they have one for Mamba, and they have one for others. So this is a cool set, underrated material monikers. If anybody wants to look into it, it's a nickname set. This is pretty sick, shout out to Ann One Breaks. He made me this, sick. Some more DeMarcus, a little 10 of 25, three color patch. Shout out to Kayla. She gave me that one. Another purple. This is out of 149. And then the rare 
I need to send PSA all my DeMarcus cards. That'd be sick. PSA 10. That's cool. The blue at a 99. I'll show this last. Unbelievable. I, I just can't even believe what someone gave me. 13 to 25, tricolor. DeMarcus Cousins, Rudy Gay, Ben McElmore, three colors. And is this 10 of 10? Nice looking card right there. I just need to say, I've had people do a lot of nice things, but I did not expect this. I, I was expecting to buy this from him. This is unbelievable. Go watch the trade night video. Go follow this dude on Instagram. One of one, flawless. BGS9, DeMarcus Cousins, one of one patch. Game worn. Unbelievable. Seriously, thank you so much. Tyreek Evans Gold. This would have been a big card. 10 of 25. Bagley. I'm flying through these. Ron Artest and Mike Bibby. That's a cool one. Jay, it's a pleasure watching all your videos and breaks on whatnot. Here a little, here's a little something for your PC. Shout out to Flav Sports Cards. He gave me the Bagley. I like this kind of rare stuff. Here's some Barnes. Tyreek Evans from 1011 Timeless at 399. Nice looking card. Timeless, man. That's a cool looking set. Tyrese Halliburton rookies. This was cool. I'm gonna mag I'm gonna put this in a magnetic Genesis. That's what I'm gonna start looking for. King's Genesis cards. I think that's a cool, cool little thing to chase. I wonder what are Ge what are Genesis numbered? Like they're not numbered, but like how many do exist? I'm curious about that. And these are personal, actually this one. So PSA 10 Bagley. And then I actually bought King's cards myself, which I was very happy to pick up. De'Aaron Fox, these are cheap, but De'Aaron Fox, De'Aaron Fox again, the red, white, and blue. And then lastly, I picked up the PSA 8. So that's cool. This is coming from Quinn's Cards. Shout out to Quinn, super nice dude. Go hit him up on YouTube, go subscribe, do all the deal, do the deal. He gave me the Tony La Russa. Lenny Wilkins. Oh man, I didn't even open this up yet, bro. This is my first reveal. Rob Gronkowski. That's sick, Gronk. Oh, snap, Reese Hoskins. Dude, this is sick. This is awesome, bro, thank you. That's for the PC. I'm picking up my objective this year, pick up more Darren Waller, pick up more Reese Hoskins and more Blaze Jordan for the PC. Robert Parrish. Wade Boggs, dude, no way, bro. You cannot give me this, are you kidding me? Shaquille O'Neal autograph, holy smokes. That is crazy, bro. I did not expect you to give me those cards. Shout out to Quinn's Cards. Go hit him up. That's good stuff, bro. I really appreciate that, bro. Then next, this is Nick's Sports Cards on Instagram. Nick's underscore Sports Cards 26. That's what I was telling you guys. You ever give me something or you send me something, just include some plugs so I can tell everybody your username. I'm a, very, I'm a big advocate of Instagram. DeMarcus Cousins out of 299. This is sick. I don't have this card. Franchise favorites. Red, white, and blue, De'Aaron. Red, white, and blue, De'Aaron. 18 of 49, Immaculate. These are the big cards I want to pick up. These kind of Immaculate National Treasures cards. De'Aaron Fox Express Lane. Zach Randolph. Anybody asking what this shirt is? It's Michael Phelps, by the way. So shout out to Gatlin. Thanks, Mojo, for your awesome videos. Gatlin, aka GT underscore sports cards. I've met him before. He's a great dude. So kid him up. And this is sick. He gave me the DeMarcus Cousins rookie sticker, which is sick. I don't even want to take that out. I was going to put it on my water bottle, but change of plans. And then this is sick. Tie-dye out of 25. So that's the way we end the video. That's sick, bro. Thank you. I want to thank everybody so much for watching the video. Thank you guys for supporting the Road to the National. Everything we did, like, oh, it was insane. Like the whatnot giveaways, the every Sunday going live. It, I learned a lot and I had a great time doing it. I really want to thank you guys so much. Like seriously means a lot. We are at 27,000 subscribers. We're almost, I think we're almost at 30K on Instagram. We're developing our TikTok as well, which I'll start adding the link in. Shane, who edits my videos, he's going to be working on our TikTok. So uh, I'm letting him have free reign on that. I'm not touching it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did leave a like, comment down below for the giveaway. Just comment what your favorite part of our national content was. That's all you have to do.
and I'll pick two winners and I'll catch up on all the winners, give you like three, four days. I'm gonna be in SAC for a minute, so it's gonna be a good time for me to reflect and get my stuff together and also be able to catch up on giveaways, go live on whatnot, probably do a live on whatnot. Maybe we're not doing Sundays for now. We're not gonna be doing Sundays, but I might squeeze one in this Sunday. I'll let you guys know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys later. Peace.